Dark Psychology. The term itself evokes a sense of mystery and intrigue. It hints at a hidden world of manipulation and control where desires are ignited and minds are subtly swayed. But what exactly is dark psychology and how does it relate to the art of seduction? At its core, dark psychology is the study of human psychology's darker aspects, focusing on manipulation, persuasion, and control tactics. It's about understanding the intricate workings of the human mind, particularly its vulnerabilities and how they can be exploited. In the realm of seduction, dark psychology offers a unique set of tools, a potent arsenal for those seeking to influence the desires and decisions of others. It's about creating an irresistible allure, a magnetic pull that draws people in. This isn't about brute force or coercion. Instead, it's about subtle cues, strategic manipulations, and an understanding of human psychology's deeper recesses. Imagine a skilled chess player strategically maneuvering pieces, anticipating their opponent's every move. That's the essence of dark psychology and seduction, a calculated game of influence played on the chessboard of human emotions. Consider the tale of Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Her allure was legendary, captivating the hearts of powerful men like Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. While her beauty was undeniable, her seductive prowess went far beyond physical attributes. She was a master of dark psychology, intuitively understanding the art of persuasion and manipulation. She played on men's desires and insecurities, strategically presenting herself as an object of irresistible fascination. Her story is a testament to the power of dark psychology, a timeless example of how understanding the human psyche can be the ultimate tool of seduction. But the world of dark psychology is not for the faint of heart. It requires a certain level of detachment, a willingness to delve into the darker aspects of human nature. It's about understanding the motivations, desires, and vulnerabilities that drive people's actions. And while the potential rewards are undeniable, there's a fine line between ethical persuasion and outright manipulation. The key is using these techniques responsibly, with awareness and consideration for the other person's well-being. Because true seduction isn't about control or dominance, it's about creating a connection, an irresistible allure that draws two souls together. And that requires more than just technique. It requires empathy, understanding, and a genuine connection with the person you're trying to seduce. Mirroring, also known as the chameleon effect, is a powerful technique rooted in the human tendency to gravitate toward those who seem similar to us. It involves subtly mimicking the other person's behavior, mannerisms, and even their language patterns. The idea is to create a sense of familiarity and rapport, making the other person feel understood and comfortable. This technique taps into our subconscious desire for connection, creating an illusion of shared values and interests. It's like looking into a mirror and seeing a reflection of yourself, creating an instant sense of affinity and trust. Think of a first date scenario. You're trying to make a good impression to establish a connection with the other person. By subtly mirroring their body language, their tone of voice, and even their conversational style, you create a sense of harmony and understanding. If they lean forward, you lean forward slightly. If they speak softly, you lower your voice to match their tone. This subconscious mirroring creates a sense of unity, making them feel more comfortable and receptive to your advances. It's a subtle dance of imitation, a delicate reflection of their essence. But the effectiveness of mirroring goes beyond mere imitation. It's about understanding the underlying emotions and motivations that drive the other person's behavior. If they're feeling energetic and enthusiastic, your mirroring should reflect that same energy. If they're more reserved and introspective, your mirroring should adapt accordingly. It's about creating a symphony of shared emotions, a harmonious blend of nonverbal cues that resonate on a deeper level. This technique is not about becoming a carbon copy of the other person. It's about finding the delicate balance between imitation and authenticity, mirroring their essence while maintaining your own unique personality. Remember, the key to successful mirroring lies in subtlety. Overdoing it can come across as insincere or even creepy. The goal is to create a subtle sense of connection, not to mimic their every move. It's about finding the nuances in their behavior, the subtle cues that reveal their inner world. And as you master the art of mirroring, you'll find it becomes second nature, an intuitive dance of connection that enhances your seductive prowess. Because when people see themselves reflected in you, 
They feel understood, validated, and drawn to your presence. And that's the essence of seduction, creating an irresistible allure that captures hearts and minds. In the intricate dance of seduction, vulnerability might seem counterintuitive. After all, aren't we drawn to strength and confidence? However, calculated vulnerability, when wielded strategically, can be a powerful tool for disarming defenses and creating a sense of intimacy. It's about revealing carefully chosen weaknesses, sharing personal anecdotes that showcase your human side. This technique plays on our innate desire to protect and nurture, making you appear more approachable and trustworthy. By letting down your guard, you invite the other person to do the same, fostering a deeper connection. Imagine a scenario where you're trying to seduce someone who's guarded and skeptical. Instead of presenting a facade of impenetrable confidence, you choose to reveal a small vulnerability, a past experience that left you feeling insecure. This calculated vulnerability humanizes you, making you appear less intimidating and more relatable. It creates an opening for the other person to connect with you on an emotional level, fostering empathy and understanding. It's about finding the right balance between strength and vulnerability, showcasing your human side without appearing weak or needy. Consider the story of Casanova, the legendary Venetian adventurer and writer known for his seductive conquests. While he embodied charm and confidence, he also understood the power of vulnerability. He would often share personal stories of past heartbreaks, showcasing his emotional depth and sensitivity. This calculated vulnerability made him appear more human, disarming the defenses of the women he pursued. It allowed them to see him not just as a charismatic rogue, but as a man capable of genuine emotion and connection. His story highlights the seductive power of vulnerability, reminding us that strength lies not in hiding our weaknesses, but in embracing them strategically. However, it's crucial to remember that calculated vulnerability is not about pouring your heart out or seeking pity. It's about choosing specific vulnerabilities that resonate with the other person, creating a sense of shared experience and understanding. It's about revealing your human side without compromising your core strength and confidence. The key is to maintain control over the narrative, ensuring your vulnerability enhances your allure rather than diminishing it. Because true seduction lies in finding the delicate balance between strength and vulnerability, creating an irresistible blend of confidence and emotional depth. The art of seduction often involves subtly influencing the other person's decisions, guiding them towards a desired outcome. This is where the technique of forced choice comes into play. It involves presenting limited options, each leading to a favorable outcome for you. By framing the choices in a specific way, you steer their decision-making process, making them feel in control while subtly nudging them in your desired direction. This technique leverages the power of suggestion, tapping into our subconscious desire to make choices that align with the options presented. Consider a scenario where you're trying to plan a date. Instead of asking an open-ended question like, what do you want to do? You present two specific options. Would you prefer a romantic dinner at that new Italian restaurant or would you rather go for a moonlit walk along the beach? Both options are appealing, but they subtly steer the decision towards a romantic setting. By framing the choices in this way, you maintain the illusion of free will while subtly influencing the outcome. It's a subtle manipulation of perception, a delicate dance of suggestion and control. The effectiveness of forced choice lies in its ability to bypass conscious resistance. When presented with limited options, people are less likely to question the underlying motives. They focus on choosing between the options presented, rather than considering alternatives. This technique taps into our inherent desire for simplicity, making decision-making easier and more streamlined. It's about creating a sense of control while subtly guiding their choices towards your desired outcome. It's a subtle manipulation of perception, a delicate dance of suggestion and control. However, the key to successful force choice lies in presenting options that are genuinely appealing to the other person. The goal is not to force them into a decision they don't want, but to subtly influence their choices towards a mutually desirable outcome. It's about understanding their preferences, their desires, and their boundaries. And as you master the art of forced choice, you'll find it becomes an invaluable tool in your seductive arsenal, allowing you to subtly steer decisions while maintaining the illusion of free will.
because true seduction lies in creating a sense of agency, empowering the other person to make choices that align with their desires while subtly guiding them towards your ultimate goal.